Let's receive all. Okay, so it is Yu-Gi-Oh day today. Hi, it's Chris. It's time for more Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, Master Duel and some other stuff. Um, so the new pack came out. Reach of Chaos. It had like ca a path of Kashira in it. It had the Drake Slayers, the Valance, and the Chaos Angel stuff. Now, I'm gonna say straight off the bat, I didn't want to build Cash at first because, but the problem is there was really nothing else in the pack that I really wanted. I was saving my gems for this pack when I heard when I heard Chaos Angel was in the pack, right? Because I figured, oh my god, oh my god, it has Syac cards, it has Syac cards. And I thought that meant... I thought that meant... I thought that meant... That I could play Libromancer again. Because I love this deck. I wish we had... I, I love that in Master Duel we still have Free Circular. I just wish we had Cyber Sage, and I wish we had the Save Worm, and I wish we had Singularity. But we don't. Oh, I was like really excited for this pack. I was saving my gems for it. Because I was like, Chaos Angel, wait, isn't that a Syac card? You know what else is a Syac card? Sage, the Save Worm, and Singularity, right? So, the problem was, was that I was expecting that to be in the pack. It's not in the pack. The only sack cards are the chaos shit. Only the chaos shit made it in. So I'm guessing there's gonna be another selection pack with the rest of Syac in the future. I'm guessing Sage is gonna come with, like, the firewall shit, like the fencer, in, like, another pack coming up. Um... And even then, this pack is, has, is like missing some stuff anyway. Like, Cash is only at like half strength. It doesn't have. It has like Fenrir, Unicorn, Rise Heart, and all that, but it doesn't have a Rise Heart. All it has is Shang Chi Era. Um. No Theosis, no Field Spell. But that being said. Draco Slayer. I, I played Draco Slayer a bit in the uh, Trial Duel event that's going on right now. I kind of wanted to build Draco Slayer, but the problem with Draco Slayer is that it's a Pendulum deck, and Pendulum decks tend to be really high rarity, um, because you you have to include all the quote-unquote Pendulum slurry you are. Things like Mighty Master, things like Jackal King, things like um, all the stuff in the extra you have to play. And as we can see, like most of the Drake Slayer cards here are URs. Like Ignis Phoenix is a free of. Magic Pegasus is also a free of. Um You can get this outside of this pack, but you're gonna need what, at least one or two prominences probably for the extra. Need a bunch of other like generally good p pendulum support. That's like a lot of it is you are, astrograph is you are, electrolytes is you are, beyond the pendulum is you are. Um, pretty much the entire like all the all the all the cards and quote unquote pendulum good stuff is you are. Um, where Keshtira, the only URs you really need. Is you need you need the lip, uh, the semi limited Fenrir, you need free free unicorn, and you need like around two Rise Heart. I don't think you need free. Some decks are playing free Rise Heart two unicorn, which why unicorn is so good. Um, 
I would rather be playing Pre Unicorn 2 Rhythart. Um. So I, I, I was able to come up with a deck. Because, yes, we don't have a Rhythart, but you know what we do have? We have Galaxy Tomahawk. So I thought, like, building, like, a pure cash tier on kind of, like, Tomahawk Turbo deck would be possible. Um. And you don't have to go for Tomahawk every game. You could just do the Shangri Era, um, the Blosis stuff with like other rank sevens like Big Eye. That's probably fine enough. And it's not as high rarity as Draco Slayer, and not as high rarity as Veilance. Uh, Chaos Angel deck. I don't think I would play the Chaos Angel, the Chaos stuff as a deck. I would just play Chaos Angel as a good synchro and like Dragon Link. Or any any synchro deck that has lights and nerfs. Maybe even like Punk it would be good. I don't know. But I'm just disappointed there was no Sage. There was no excuse to play Livermancer again. Um, but that being said, I do have a cash list. But the problem is I'm missing a couple of yours. I am, I have the two Fenrir, I have one Unicorn. I'm missing two copies of Unicorn and two copies of Rhyzart. I'm not playing Ogre because I'm playing triple Pancratops. Because, yes I could play Ogre in this slot, but I thought pre-Pank, it just sounds so good in cash. Like, it's level 7, it helps you going second, and it's kind of nice. But before we can play that, we need to do some grinding. Yeah, Pancreatox is good in a lot of decks, but it's uniquely good in cash because it's level 7. So that means, sadly, we must use one of our existing decks to grind. And unfortunately, I think my best deck is still Goaty. But we just need a couple wins. We just need to make some gems to get get our our two unicorns and our two right hearts. And then we can play Cash. That I can show you what I cook, uh, what I've been cooking for cash. Because yeah, unfortunately, you do need to cook a little bit because there's no right heart, so you gotta cook a little bit for cash to be spicy. Of course, when a right heart comes out, it, the deck list is going to be the same. It's gonna be fairly standardized once we get a right heart, but um. I think we go Piri Wraith. Uh, we don't need Piri Wraith. We've got Wee Fish already. So we can go Shafana here. And then just normal Wee Fish and just Prage No Ash. Well, we have Called By. We have Called By. So we don't lose the Ash here. Uh, they had the Ash Blossom, but it's fine. This does not lose us the game because we have Called By. So we can at least get off to the races and send a ship. And we'll go chef. Well, what we're doing is to get chef in the banished pile. Do we have another fish in hand? No, we don't. Um, I think we just go coral here. Special one back. Get a nice 2k body up on the board. 
and bring one back for synchroing purposes. We'll go Shafana because it has a nice booty. And we will we'll set our like, impermanent path. Let's see what they're on. This is gold still, so. Uh, we'll bring our ship back. This gets us to Arian Poss. We can't really do the reactive 8 plays, but we can still get the Arian Poss pretty easily. Oh, it's Eldritch! Or deck playing Eldritch, at least. For all I know, it could be Fluffle. Um, so they're gonna remove my Coral? I think I just make Arian Pass. I don't care about my Coral, dude. I really could give less of a shit about that Coral. I just made it to make it. That's my Synchro that I care about. We'll go Arian Pass. We'll banish... We'll banish Paces. Okay, they went sanguine. Set a golden land trap. Then summon their Elblitch. What are they getting? Probably just like walk, uh, walk or uh, conk. Yeah, they're getting conk. I think we just impib this column. That'll hit over Arian Poss. Losing our Arian Poss kind of sucks for synchro purposes, but we can get another body on board next turn. The back row is going to be a bit of an issue, but we got answers to the back row. If we can get to deep beyond, we could just deep beyond this board, right? Oh, I'll say skill drain us. If one of those are skill drain, I'm just going to scoop. Yeah, if one of those is the one of the skill drain, I'm just we're just going next. Okay, so we're gonna go conk here. So pop paces. Which you know that kinda sucks, but we have way of getting in the grave. Or back in the deck at least. We have a way of rebanishing shift. I actually think what we do here is we can go... I actually think we don't map, actually. I think we do have to map to get started. As much as I don't want to. So we can get... Um... We have a Vest Shark, so we can go like Zep here. Or, no, we have to get a fish on field, is the problem.
But we have to go for... For this. We have to go... This, to the pole. To get the leaf fish so we can go with the shark. We can go leaf fish. And we can send like a bit uh, another bit shark to the grave. Probably fine. We can activate Chef at this point. But I think we're gonna go with Bish Shark here. On defense. Um, and we can go Angler. We can go Angler. Defense. You can go chef, banish chef. To attack over to conk. Oh, they're gonna use Walk Hero, so a uh, Guardian, so I can't attack over to Conk. And we're gonna go Leaf Fish. We'll send this Paces and Arian Poth back into the deck. Actually, no, we we shouldn't. Uh, we, we're, we'll, we'll do this. So we can draw one. Uh, I was hoping to draw Zep. Zep would have helped us immensely. Well, I don't know. Maybe something a bit sharp for hand wouldn't be the worst. I think we want to just get this. Anything that isn't in defense position and off our board. You know, Keeper. Keeper effect. Banish this. Let's banish our other trap. It was a, it was a cylinder. Oh, I misplayed. I think I lose. Yeah, I, I lost. I misplayed. I shouldn't have went for the leaf fishing grave. I should have just kept that stuff in grave for Arian Poss. I was hoping to, I was hoping to top back exact leads up. This dark this deck struggles against back row anyway. If I don't draw like a back row out, I'm fucked. Or I specifically need a way to deep beyond that doesn't get interrupted to out back row. Oh, this is an interesting starting hand, actually. Because we'll start with Dimension Shifter, put them under Shifter, and then we can go Shafana. And we can go Druid Swarm, banish our shifter to get our graveyard empty. Oh, we should have mapped first. We should have mapped first. We fucked up. But we can get a Magnemot, and we have an Imperm. And our under dimension shifter anyway. I kind of misplayed around map. 
Oh, wait, no, we can't switch Magma. Only Magma not certain. I probably Druid Swarm doesn't do that. Uh, I misplayed really bad because I didn't use Periore's map on the first activation. I really should just take it out for one for one, to be honest. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be Scooper. You know, I have no out to Zombie World. Zombie World is an FTK versus me because I need my stuff to be fish. Okay, this is promising. We fish in hand and we have called by. We can dump ship and we even have paces for our following turn. Dump ship. Activate ship, get shift in the banish pile. Set called by and pass. Our called by guaranteed max C resolve, so that's kind of nice. Well, max C and standby, we have a called by to protect it to make sure it resolves. Okay, they had didn't he have an ash? or called by for Maxi. So now they are under the bug. And we can make Arion Poss and banish another fish. Since we have the pieces in hand, I think we banish Synopsis. Bingo, Machine Go! Is that like a blue eyes? I can like blue eyes. Well, blue eyes is kind of a problem for us because it's quite large, but I don't think this Arion Poss is going to be sticking around for very long. Unless we, like, call by the white stone. I will select this one. So they went alternative, alternative, true light. And we're, uh, since we have the pieces in hand, we're gonna banish Snopsis. We'll go Snopsis. Uh, we'll banish Chef again so we, you can reuse Chef. Get the Snopsis to hand. Oh, I have a sick play if they hit, if they try to out out our uh, Arian possible with blue eyes. Okay. Okay, I have a sick play. We're gonna go Snopsis. We'll banish the pieces in hand and the uh, we fish in the graveyard, so we can get Snopsis. We can go Snopsis and we'll target itself so. It'll be banished when it leaves the field. We should have set this imperm. I, that was a bit of a misplay. But... If they attack our Snopsis, I get to recycle Snopsis and get to banish another card. So they're just going Chaos Form, they're just going for fucking... 
Oh, they're not making Chaos Max. They're just making regular old Chaos Dragon. Um, there is nothing worth cold buying here, unfortunately. Oh wait, we draw the uh, we drew the infib off of Maxi. Not like we could have. They're going blue eyes spirit dragon here. Turned out, uh, uh, I do not care about the graveyard, sir. I care about the banished pile. So, what this spirit dragon does literally nothing against this deck. Alright, battle and just hit in for a bunch of damage. I mean, that's fine. That means I take no damage from this. Oh, wait, it does piercing. I didn't realize it did piercing. Hit me for 25? That's not lethal, sir. Well, since they couldn't kill me, I can out this. I can out this for sure. This thing isn't like towers or anything of it. Well, Chaos Dragon's kind of annoying because I can't target it and I can't destroy it. But it can still be banished. Why did you use Spirit Dragon? That's the banished pile. Well, I'm gonna prevent them from using the other effect of Spirit Dragon. Oh wait, this might stop at that the track here. I just have to out this somehow. Which I think Deep Beyond outs it. Or I could just attack over it with a big chungus. I think we're gonna banish paces to special summon uh, Snopsis from hand. Banishing these two. Oh wait, I can aura out it with White Aura. White Aura will out it. It's in attack position. Oh wait, that destroys and this thing can't be destroyed. I could just make something like... 
like Chungus. Do I have a tuner in grave? No, I don't. Um, so I can't go Excel Stardust. I think we do Afghan and we bring Afghan back. I think we make Afghan for like few. Uh, we go Afghan Deep Beyond is what we do. We make Afghan. We can't use the ability because because this thing can't be targeted. Um, but we can go like Infib Crossout. Because we can get a tutor back and make it 10. And uh, Deep Beyond outs this thing. Because Deep Beyond does not target. Also, it's a banish. Let's see if they jump right to battle phase or if they play. We want to wait to uh, see if they play any cards because we want to banish as many cards as we can. So let's see if they play any additional cards. See if they play any additional cards before. Okay, they're ending main page where we have to go for it now. We have to deep beyond now. Kick by! Kick by to your board! They were probably playing around it. They probably got a free K guy that it can summon. All non engine. Let me guess, it's like trade in and like like some hand traps. The typical blue eyes experience. Well, I've got Shifter DB Crow. <laughs> I guess we shift her in my turn then. And we just go to the full hope for no ash. They'll probably say the ash relief fish. Okay, no ash. We are good to go. We just send that. Banish that. All right, we will just um, throw down an ifpip and 
back to you. I can go Arion Puff. I've got both Crow and Ash. Um, we can go Arion Puff at some point. Let's see what they're on. Fusion deployment. But if, if there's a fusion deployment, this means one of two things. Either it's branded or it's a hero cosplayer. Um, unless they're on some, like, fucking bad hero decks that's on fusion deployment. Usually fusion deployment is assigned to branded. Um, we'll, we'll just area on pop now. I'm willing to bet it's branded, though. Oh, I was way off! I was way off. It's Red Eyes. Oh, good lord. Red Eyes are sevens. Are they going to do the Red Eyes Cash Tura combo that Moto did to me? Well, at least they don't have a right heart. Um. Let's banish. Lots of paces. So they summoned a Red Eyes. Infernal Fire Blast, so they're gonna do some burn damage, but they can't attack with that red eye. So, okay, so all we saw so far is red eyes cards. We haven't saw the cash engine yet. It, it may just be pure red eyes. So they're going Red Eyes Transmigration. The Red Eyes Ritual spell? At first I thought it was Wrath, but no, it's the Ritual spell. Lord of the Red. You can ritual summon this card with Red Eyes Transmigration. What for sure would you go to my grave for it? You can turn one mother of heal, destroy it. Um, that is getting impermed every day in the week. Oh wait, they can use that to pop my Arion Poss. They popped the Imperm! Um, that's not how chains work, buddy. You should have popped the Arion Poss! So you can hit in for more damage. And they set a card. Okay, it's safe to say they are not on the Cash Hero engine. They are not 5 Ed. Yeah. I'm willing to bet my, uh, my shifter really fucked them up. Red Eyes has a lot of graveyard effects. Whatever. The problem is I don't have anything to do with this paces because I'm out of monsters. I kind of needed that. Thankfully, that's only a once per turn. But, do I even have a five? 
Oh, I don't have a thigh. So, literally does nothing. I'm going to lose to Red Eyes because I drew, drew all my hand traps and no fish. I drew no non-tuners. I lost the red eye because I drew no non-tuners. Or if they hadn't popped, uh, hit over my Arianne pop, I could have kept it and used it as synchro material. But the problem is, is that I just drew no non-tuners. I drew, I like saw almost no fish. I saw like Ash Ash DB Crow Shifter. Uh, I just couldn't out it because I just drew no non tuners. Okay, this is better. Kind of. I have to, like, banish both the Bishark for this. But how do I get to what's my call? How do I get to a tuner? Uh, to a thing to banish. Wait. This is. I actually, this hand is terrible. Because I have to go, like. Banish both of Bishark to get Synopsis down. And. I honestly think I just pass. I have to pass. And hope Magna Button DB Crow does work. Because I have no starters in this hand. The shark requires you to have a fish in, on the field. And stops it requires me to banish to fish my hand at graveyard. Which I do not have. Uh, because again, I just didn't find a way to leave fish. Lack of summonable non-tuners. Black Metal Dragon is grand. End of the main phase. I actually think we snops this here. So they can't attack, uh, attack him for free damage. And hell, just in case, we'll do this. And they will pass. We fish. Um, tutiful. Map. That is not leaf fish tutiful or map. Oh my god, even a tuner would be better. But considering what they're playing. I can just attack with Snopsis and pass. I got Maxi for next turn. The Snopsis beats. Oh, please activate a light or dark graveyard effect. Please activate a light or dark graveyard effect. This, this magma is about to go brazy. Add wrath. Oh, black metal dragon is an earth. Oh, no, it is a dark. But why can't I... Am I, uh, am I locked? Um, I might be fish locked. That might be why I can't make them up. Oh, it's battle phase. That's why I can't do it. I can't do it in the battle phase. So we can make them up now. Get Magnumot on board. And we can get Druis. Nice. We 
can get Druish Worm in the end phase. So if they do any more graveyard shit with like Red Eyes Fusion, we can we can punish that as well. And we have Maxi to maybe draw into a fucking tuner. Or a way to one. Normal summon spew a spheroid triide dice. Yeah, we will maxi. End phase. During your pause turn, you can bash the card from Greg to get your neck from off your opponent control. Well, I have bad news for you. I have DB Crow. And we drew we fish, finally, after 10 million years. Well, let's, let's get tripping, boys. I actually think we don't go for either of those. We're just gonna go battle phase. Hit him with Leaf Fish. And we can DV Crow it so we can't use its effect. Unfortunately, DB Crow does not negate. Oh, it only fades one. It's not a battle fader. It, it's a negate attack. Not a battle fader. That card sucks. Well, we could summon Druus, but I kind of want to wait until they put something in the graveyard to Druus. We get a tuner, so we can we can make an A. We could go for like Afghan if we need to, or we could go Arian Puffs. Uh, my highest rank was like Platinum Four or Three before. Oh, uh, we'll go chef. Guys, certainly taking his time to respond. Let's see what they do. They have like a billion cards, just haven't done anything.
Come on, do something. Come on. Red eyes and speed droid. I was excited to see what you were cooking. Okay, there's the wrath. I think we just let that go for now. They sent Black, uh, Red Eyes, and Meteor Dragon. Oh, Black Con- Oh, they're going for the burn damage. Interesting. Shame if someone banished that. I think we're gonna go ship chain link two. We'll wait for Druus for a new chain. And we'll go. The ass of cans. Now uh, you can send, that's fine. Do some damage to me, I don't care. But your big threat's not gonna be on the board for much longer. Ah, uh, do your frickin' effect damage. Unless you can send something that has 8,000 grit on it. 900! Oh, they sent... They sent Gear 3 to Red Eyes Iron Knight. <laughs> we'll go Afghan. Targeting self and targeting the the black the uh the meteor dragon. And we will activate the effect of Synopsis, which will allow us to rebanish ship for next turn. And I guess we'll we'll drew a swarm the the I guess we'll drew a swarm the carefree the red eye liar knight. <laughs> Red Eyes players, go back to Duel Links or at least put it in a cast engine. <laughs> uh, this shit ain't Duel Links, fam. You're gonna have to have a Castira engine. Gotta get to a rank up for wars and make some good gems though. We still have two wins until gold tier two. Problem with this deck is it's just slow. It just takes a while to win when you actually get a winning hand. So I'm gonna change this to something a bit more fast paced that I can play faster. 
I know, uh, the problem is I don't want to play this because, like, it's just not that good without the Lost McCall cards. Um, let's play some dinosaur games. How about that shit? Let's play some dinosaur games. I mean, it's not the best, but gold is probably fine enough to beat red eyes. Like, fucking, fucking conductor is a fucking an FTK against red eyes. Because you just fucking flip over their burn guy. And not bad for going second. We got evenly matched. Oh, here it is. They're here. They are here. But they're playing Ogre. They're not on the... They don't realize that Pancratops is at three. Uh, add prep, I'm guessing. Yeah. Pay 3k for the Ascendant. Okay, so that's why they're not playing Pancratops. Because they would rather play the Ascendant of Thunder. So it's a level 7 Cyber Dragon that you have to pay 3,000 life points for. That's interesting. That's an interesting tech. Uh, personally, I would rather play Pank but, and save the 3,000 life points, but... I suppose Pank has conditions, right? So... Paying 3k to a special lit, uh, a level 7 anytime you want seems pretty good. Especially to play around like Mushroom Man, I guess. Uh, yeah, there's Diablosis. Gosh, I'm gonna have to show him that extra. So, if I draw, if I draw past me, it's gonna be way less good now. Because they're gonna make me show me that extra. Um, show, I have to show him that extra. What are they gonna take? I think the pick is Scrap Wyvern. Because that cuts me off of the Raptor line. I was not expecting me to run the cash this soon. One, because it's golden. Two, because people are sleeping on it because they think it just isn't good without Rise Heart. And they would just rather play tier. Okay, so they went for Zeus. That's interesting. I rarely make Zeus and Dinosaur. I suppose they don't know I'm on Dino yet. The Scrap Wyvern should have been a giveaway, though. Uh, Foolish is fine. What did they say? They, oh, they said... Oh, they're on an adventure package. Interesting. Adventure cash sounds kind of lit. Ooh. That's fateful. People. Add Wyvern. Griffin. This evenly matched about to go brazy. I just had to bait the Griffin. Which I think, um, have you read me 
Oh, 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 feet's are gripping pretty hard. They might be tempted to do it to the Prosby. But we do have to Prosby with this hand. We'll Prosby for only three, though. Because I did lose, I, I I did lose some to show me that extra, so we'll prof for free. So what do we not want in this matchup? They don't need the graveyard, so dweller is useless. Um, I don't think I need Dugaras. I probably don't need. I probably don't need Phoenix. Let's see if this baits the Griffin. It did not bait the Griffin. I actually think the pick is Maxi. Oh, we can we can misc to stop Griffin even. Or it, it it it'll sure bait the Griffin, so uh, evenly won't be online. Yeah, they're gonna use the Griffin here. Which means they can't they can't negate evenly now. I just chained the other misc too. I still get to activate misc. Unless they have called by set. Okay, the set is not called by. Okay, we can go... I think we just go battle and evenly match to now. We gotta turn the toggle off though, which is in duel. Switch. We gotta toggle off here, go to end the battle. Why couldn't I evenly? Oh, if I control no cards, I put things in the graveyard. Well, this is a scoop. This will be misplaying on with evenly matched. Well, the problem is they have Griffin, so I could, that evenly was never resolving anyway because of Griffin. Because I needed to use Mist to bait Griffin, but I forgot activating the Mist. Put stuff in the graveyard. Graveyard counts as under your control, which means you can't activate evenly from hand. I'm gonna rerun that because it's weird seeing cash and gold free. I just got unlucky and run it, ran into a meta deck when I very much need to not run into a meta deck. Because Dino is less good than Godi. Especially without Transcendosaurs. Okay, this hand is rough because I don't have Obi. 
I honestly think this is this is unironically a such evenly pa uh, matched and passed. No, this is a hope Vexy gets me out of this hand. Oh no, it's Lab Lab and Lab Lab and Lena. I I guess we Maxi. They don't really care about Maxi, but we uh, I guess we just evenly them. Evenly goes crazy against Lab. We just have to set it beforehand. Well, I control a card now, so I have to wait a turn for it probably. Or, or just forget about it and just, um, nope. I shouldn't have activated the smack C, I should have just kept it empty for evenly. Oh wait, I toggled off, I should have toggled on, maybe, uh, maybe I fucked up. Um. We, we should be able to evenly still. I just fucked up the toggle last game. Oh, uh, problem is what... I, I, they're not setting many traps so far. I mean, they resolved this Ariana and did a couple of furniture stuff, but they haven't set anything. Okay, there, there's Lady Lab, so... Okay, so now this evenly match is looking better. End of main? Battle. It hit me for a lot. And then main two del set, probably. Do I want to evenly now? No, I wanna wait I wanna evenly next turn when they after they set a bunch of cards. I really didn't need to see that. Oh, well, we gotta turn on this time. We gotta make sure we got the right thing on. There we go. Now we can evenly. Big welcome, welcome. Now yeah, they have to, they have to chain these now. That forces them out basically.
I think I can just go pill. I think I just do like the mythic play here to make my stuff immune to hand traps. And I just go like do scrap shit. Kimira. Extra normal on Kimira. Kimira, get back to Rap Raptor. Honestly, I think we just plan B their ass. We just go plan B. Baguska, I think, fucks up the big womans too much. Yeah, Baguska really fucks with big women. So, uh, the big women. So, we can just do this. We can just do Baguska bath. Baguska should be fairly, fairly good against Lab to uh, deal with the, the, the big lesbians. It just doesn't yield the link buff. They're on a magical musket. It's lab magical musket? I should have maybe set this evenly matched. Well, they had a musket and I was not expecting the musket engine out, Baguska. I was not expecting that fucking musket engine. Well, I have to see what they were cooking. I have to see. It's like a minimum lab engine. For musket. A very small lab engine and musket, which is weird. I suppose if we're gonna make musket competitive, that's one way to do it, I guess. Two fossil dig, don't mind if I do. Get me over Raptor, please. Eh, have you read me? Oh, gee, what do I want now? Probably a, a baby. Normal, over raptor, get petite I guess, or do we have a scrap in hand? Yes, we have scrap in hand. Um, we could get like pank for, go uh, for follow up, I suppose. And we just go Banish Misk for Arcasaur. Pop Baby.
Pop the baby. Get pill. Get uh, baby on new chain. Special summon baby. Arbonite effect act on baby. Special baby. New chain ba uh, baby. Baby. Um, fuck, we, I think we get another Overraptor for another four. And we go, like... Oh, now we can't summon Scrap, though, because we used our normal. We chose Special Scrap from deck. I actually think that's not a bi uh, big deal. Do we have anything I can pop our own cards for, baby? I fucked up. I think I fucked up really badly. We can we can still get to like stuff. We can still go like Dolka. We'll just go. We're, we're just gonna Dolka. And then just like link off the Archosaur for Link, uh, link Rebo. And we can, we can, uh, we can Pell probably. Oh, I need a non dinosaur. I don't have a non dinosaur available. Um. I mean, Dolka, Link Rebo Pass is, uh, Link Rebo Pass is not horrible. And we have Pank if they, oh, our board. Oh, it's Generator. Get the stage. Oh, at least we can negate boss stage. At least we have that much. Cause I think we can, can negate spells. Oh, another uh, only negates monster effects only. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and link Revo the Lopter, I guess. Uh, we can we can stop Lopter so they can't get hard. And we can, and they control more cards than us because we we can pank the boss stage. We're gonna go boss stage here. I can't really stop it at this point. And there's boss room. To chain block the boss stage. I couldn't stop Har from coming out. Is the problem. Ah, uh, special summon Pancratops. We can go Pank, Force a Har activation, and then Dolka Har. Up the Har. This forces them to chain Har, I think. Yeah. And we can chain Dolka. Oh, but they have boss room though, and boss room stops it. Well, 
We'll try and negate horror again. Uh, but that was Lopter. Yeah, I think that's it. I couldn't contest all this stuff. I just think Dinosaur is just not where it needs to be to compete. It, it, we need to transcend the sword and those are a long way away. It's crazy, we have free Misk, free Overraptor, this should be like crazy, but it's not. It's just not enough without, without Ground Zeno and, and Meteorus and Lars. Uh, I guess we have to go back to Goaty because it's, it's our most competitive deck, I guess, for the moment. Because we still can't afford the fucking Rise Hearts and the, uh, the other two Unicorns. It just, Goaty is just this deck that, like, just has these, like, weird hands that just... Sometimes you just draw a hand that just loses to Ash Blossom. And you can't have a deck that loses to Ash Blossom in a format where Maxi is like 95% usage and, 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 and as a result, Ash Blossom is 95% usage because it beats Maxi. Um, and this hand is fucking god awful. This hand is really bad. No, no way to get the Goaty plays even going. I have to like set impermanent path. Because I did not open a way to Wee Fish. Or any way to get ship in rotation. Danger Dark World, huh? I think I just maxi at heart at Mothman. I think we asked Shoop. I have no idea where you stopped this deck. I can't believe people are coping on this after they pre-banned Silva before the new support came out. Not like I'm gonna win anyway because I didn't draw like a way to leaf fish, but 
Dugarev. Okay. I think Dugarev is a good imperm though. I don't want them doing any bullshit with Dugarev. Uh, you, I'm not gonna let you go plus one. I'll go the Gates of Dark World trigger one, thank you, triggering beige. Well, I can activate Snopsis to not die immediately. It gets us, it allows us to banish the paces, which is kind of nice. And select this so I can banish myself. Well, they have to attack with Lucent first. I'm guessing, oh, oh it's a Link Summon. I thought they were fusion summoning for what's gonna call it, for Grappa. Okay, so they're going Muckracker. Alright. Yeah, so I'll use Muckracker to special. Well, I got the tuneful through Maxi, but it's not gonna matter if I'm dead this turn. But I'm so far I'm not, because they don't have anything. Well, the only thing they have bigger than Snopsis is Lucent. Well, there's the Genta, which gets them to another. Hold on, everyone. Sorry about that, I had to take a call from my brother. He was wanting me to end my stream. I've only been going for like, un not even two hours yet. It's only been like an hour 45 and he wants me to end my stream already. I think I just... Is there anything worth doing? No, eh, it, it'll help to get a body on board, I guess. I guess we'll banish this snow so they can't reuse it. Let's go with this. And we can bring back pieces so we can make an eight. So that's all in the attack position. This gets white or wheel off the board. I actually think we just go for the white or whale. I'm honest. We have tunable, so we can just go white or whale. 
A mechanical white or a whale requires different layout of tuners. Um, of the non-tuners because of, because blue firm is enough fish. Um, we could go like. We could do tunable first. And get wee fish into rotation. We can make a different eight, maybe. We could go for like a ten, maybe. We can go wee fish. Then shift. We could just make an eight that a generic eight. Like, uh... We can go Excel Stardust here, get back paces, and, and then we can go for, like, a 10. Let's go Excel Stardust. We'll activate Drew's Worm and Grave to send uh, their big one to the graveyard. We'll do this. Uh, we can get paces back, which will allow us to get to a 10 actually. Um. Um. We can. We could go Ruddy Rose, uh, we could go... I actually think we do Chungus, actually. Let's go, let's go Big Chungus. Huge Chungus. And then we can, we can activate this. We can banish, trigger Chungus to pump this. And we'll trigger Chungus to burn. We'll banish... Let's banish their Muckracker. And we'll banish their... Let's banish Lucent. For a big burn. And then we will set this called by. And we'll go Battle Phase. 2k. For the eight. Mm, go to the end phase. Well, we turned this one around. Chef comes back. It'll get us to Ariane Poth. I think we want to Ash Gates of Dark World here. And we can go Chef. We'll Chef for Arian Pass. And then we'll trigger Changing. We'll banish their gate gates and we'll banish Beige. And we'll banish uh, Zep. The so Zep will get us to uh will immediately get us into Afghan. Or white aura whales we want. I think white aura might be better. Feel that pierces. 
trigger a round puff. Um, banish shift. It doesn't need a card to hand and a fish. There we go. Hmm. They got another one. They got another Gates of Dark World. It's fine, I guess. Rainbow. King Gento. Rainbow. Oh, we we can call by the rainbow. That's good, at least. Um Battle phase. Taking themselves out on their own terms, I see. Well, that's the big W. What? Uh, we still haven't ranked up yet. Alright, we're closing in on two hours. My brother's already, like, bothering me about ending my stream. Um, before I do, though, I do want to try to, to finish the cash deck for next time. So let's go to the shop. We, we, we don't have a thousand, but we can, we can open seven packs. How about that? We can just spend our gems upon single packs. So we'll buy seven packs. We'll buy as many packs as we can. Show me Wraith Heart. Show me Unicorn. That's not Wraith Heart or Unicorn. Wraith Heart, Unicorn. I don't need my 7th Shangri-Ra. A Shizuku. Alright, we got... Four more packs to pull. Nothing. Okay, another shot. Unicorn, right heart. Unicorn, Rise Heart. I mean, that's nice. I could build Draco Slayer eventually, I guess. I'm getting all the Draco Slayer pulls. Hmm. Maybe I do need to see if I have the Draco Slayer stuff. Our last chance. Please have a shaky in this pack, please.
Another copy of Birth I don't need. But we can pull, we did pull some stuff we can break. So, let's go to the cash in the bank. Let's go to dismantle all extras for stuff. Gonna need that. And then we'll go dismantle selectives. Um, what don't I need? I'm never playing Valance. Um, is that really the only UR I can break? I think I can safely break Eldwitch because I'm not playing football again. Because I don't see myself being able to play football on MD ever again. Um, speaking of, I'm gonna go ahead and like this chant my football stuff. Like. Where is? Yeah, let's break Tiger and Kraken, because I'm not going to play that deck again. Except for maybe events, but who cares. I want to keep Garua. I don't think I'm going to play DPE ever again. Um, I, I could probably break Verte, maybe. Well, DPE Verte I won't break. Um... Hmm. The question is, do I need to just dismantle Dinosaur? Because that's a lot of e e URs. I mean, I kind of want to hold on to them for when Transcendosaurs come to the game, but... I don't know. Let's see what we can craft now with what we made. Okay, we can, we, we can make two. So we can complete the unicorn playset at least. Unicorn playset completed. We just need the rise hearts now. Um. I will figure it out later. I'm almost done with this deck. Um, so I will. I've been going for about about the two hours now. Um, uh, Fluffle was on uh, uh, SJ Fluffle is unplayable because they banned Toad. Also, they they limited Polish burial goods. Like, it's the Band Toad and a limited Foolish Burial goods because of Tear. Like, the Toad ban is one thing. Limiting Foolish Goods basically kills the deck because it cuts you off of Ender Access. Oh wait a second! This is a UR heavy deck we can dis we can at least partially dismantle, right? Because because Templars UR arrivals in UR. I don't see Ignister ever being good again. But then again, like this is actually this deck isn't that UR heavy. It's not worth it. 
Um, but I'll worry about that next time. I think we can 